Hey, what's happening, guys? Talking about the Pi Pico again. And so far, I'm, I'm a fan of the board. I like it, but it's got a major flaw. And we talked about that in the other videos. They printed all the labels on the bottom of it. Oh, and they said, well, we, we gave you a nice pin out in the manual. Yeah, but I don't want to do that when I'm hooking something up. I want to be able to read what it is. So we got to do something about that. And that's what today's video is going to be. Today's video is brought to you by our friends at PCB Way. And as you can see right here, the uh, Chinese New Year holiday is over. They are back to work, back to business, and ready to make boards for you. So I figured the best way to alleviate that problem would just be to make a breakout board. And it doesn't get much simpler than this, really. Here's the left side of the pie. Well, I can't circle very well, can I? It's just simply tied to this board, to this rail of uh, female 2.54 millimeter uh, header pins. And the same, here's the bright side of the pie, and it's connected to this set of header pins. And just for fun, I threw in an OLED. Uh, you, you really can't write a simpler <laughs> or draw a simpler schematic than that. So that, that's it. I mean, that's all there is to it. Here's the board I drew up, and you can see the measurements here. It's a 90.3 millimeters wide by 60.071 millimeters tall. We've got the pie here going vertically. Then we have our adapter uh, headers over here. Routing this board was difficult. I didn't leave myself much room. And in fact, when I tried to make the first set of Gerbers, it told me I didn't have enough spacing here on these bottom side uh, tracks. So I had to redraw them, which was a pain in the butt. Now, this is the first iteration of this board. And there's only me. So, I don't like it. I'm going to tell you that right now. This OLED here is too close to this here. There, there's... There's not enough room here, which you'll see when we get to the boards. So that's going to have to be corrected. I think that the easiest way to correct it is we're just going to take this uh, 60 millimeter dimension. And we're going to make it, say, 70 millimeters. That extra uh, 10 millimeters is really going to give us all the room we need. And then I'm going to have to redraw everything. But that's going to be for the second iteration. This is just the first. So here is the artist's rendering of the board. You can see that I put in all the uh, pins here. So we know what we're doing. That was the whole point of this. We'll have the, the Pico plugged in here, and then you'll be able to say, I need to plug in the P6 and ground. Well, they're, they're right there. Nothing on the back. Nothing up my sleeve. And once again, if you look here, you can see how close those traces are. They do meet the minimum requirements, though, so should be good. All right, so I ordered these boards about 10 days ago. They arrived two days ago, so... That's pretty good. Yeah, they're definitely back after their holiday. Let's uh, go take a look at the boards. Back, like I said, here they are. They look, they look great. And you know, like I said, PCBA didn't make any any mistakes here. It's a design mistake, and it's all mine. Call it carelessness, or you know, not double checking my work. Whatever you want. I don't have the footprint for that, so I couldn't tell exactly where it went. But the quality work on the boards is just excellent. Take a look here. You can get in there. Let's see if it'll focus. Yeah. You can see they're pretty close. If I bring a scale in here. Spacing's pretty tight. So we're gonna have to make the board a little bit bigger in this direction. Yeah, where are we at here? Huh, I'm supposed to be 60. I'm getting like 55. Oh, duh. There we go, 60. So, yeah, I think we take it up to 70. We should be good. And now, by the power of YouTube, here's a completed board. That's all there is to it. And when I solder these headers in, I solder them with the pie in them, so... It just pops in. 
everything remains aligned, it's good to go. But you can see we have a problem. Yeah, we're going to have trouble getting down to up to P5. I mean, yeah, you can definitely uh, put a jumper in it if you can find a jumper wire. Hold on. So, yeah, you can get in there and do it, but it's not elegant. But it'll still work, like I said, and this is iteration number one. So let's get a, uh, can I call it a sketch for this? Let's get some code on there, test it out, and make sure that everything's working okay. That's what we'll do. All right, so I've got the code in here, and I'm experiencing a really weird error. Now, I know virtually nothing about MicroPython, so if you guys are up on Python, feel free to chime in and tell me what you think is going on here, because this is really puzzling to me. All right, so this is all good. I hit the run button, and I get these errors down here. Look at this. So what you haven't seen is I've rewritten this four, five, six different times, and I keep getting the same error. doesn't really make any sense. OS error number five, which I looked up, and it says maybe it needs a delay. I, I don't know. But check this out. Okay, here it is. It's, it's hooked up. You just saw it running. You saw me talking to you on the computer. We got nothing. We get that OS error number five. Totally weird, right? All right. Disconnect this here. Take this apart. Put it into a breadboard. Let's make sure I do this right. Ground is the third pin down on this side. One, two, three. BCC is the fifth one. So we skip one. And then data is zero. And clock number one, I think. If not, I'll have to switch these two. So plug it back in. I'm going to go back over to Thani. I know you can't see it, but don't worry. And look, it works just fine. Okay? So, what I did... And this is this is why I'm so puzzled. Bring in the meter, put it on continuity. Make sure we're working here. Good. Okay, so let's get a couple jumpers in here. So one, two, three. That should go to ground. There's ground. Hook them up. Connection, good. So we'll go to pin five. That should be VCC. Whoops. Good. Okay. Clock, should be pin one. Oh, data, rather, and clock. They're all good. So why am I getting that OS error? This is incredibly confusing. Now, I've checked the continuity on all the pins. There's no shorts. Everything is good. In fact... Bring this back here. Put it back together. Do that little blinky program I did. This goes between 15 and ground here. Yes, I know I should be using a uh, 
resistor, but I don't really care. Hang on, let me get the code up. Okay, the code's up, and there it is. I mean, it's, it's running fine. But I cannot make the OLED work. So, that is where we're at. There are no shorts. Everything's connected as proper. It works when I do it on the breadboard. It does not work here, but everything else works. So at this point, I place myself into your hands. What should I do? Leave in the comment down below and tell me, because I would really love to get this working. I mean, it makes perfect sense. And I'm going to make the uh, adjustment to move this, move these down a little bit, add a little bit more, make it bigger in the next board. But uh, yeah, that is incredibly confusing to me. I'm sure it's something super simple, but uh, I can't figure out what it is. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. Thanks to the patrons who make all this possible. That's it. I'm out. Peace.